We've got here the new T-Mobile 5G mobile hotspot, a much cheaper alternative to the M2000. What's new, what's different, and is this, well, worth paying less for? We've got all the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a first hands-on look at the new T-Mobile 5G mobile hotspot. Now this is a new device that out from T-Mobile. It is their first self-branded mobile hotspot and it is uh, joining in their lineup the uh, Inseco M2000 5G hotspot which has been available for a while and still remains available for sale by T-Mobile. Now this device is 198 this device is 336 and on paper they look very very similar so what is the difference and well should you be going for the new cheaper alternative so first off these are both um 5g hotspots they are uh have similar bands that they support on t-mobile they support basically all the 5g bands that t-mobile is currently deploying they have wi-fi 6 radios for making your local wi-fi network so they're very support the latest in Wi-Fi standards and neither one of them has an Ethernet port or antenna port so you can't you know easily expand their connectivity with external antennas or plug them into your home network with uh, Ethernet but well they both do have USB ports and support tethering and well so well, what's the difference then what's, what makes this one worth so much more and so far in our testing nothing the new T-Mobile Hotspot is in some ways a more basic device. It does not have a removable battery, does not have a touchscreen user interface. You can't adjust any settings directly on here. You've got to go through the web control panel. This has removable battery and a touchscreen, but you really, how often do you need either of those things? So far in our hands-on testing, we're actually seeing this one outperform this one a little bit. Now, behind the scenes, inside of them, they actually do have some substantial differences. The uh, M2000 is using a Qualcomm cellular modem chipset, so kind of the flagship modem chipset, but this is an X55, so it is a couple years old now at this point. This one is one of the first devices we've seen using a non-Qualcomm uh, 5G chipset in a mobile hotspot. It is using a chip from MediaTek, so don't have a lot to compare this with, but so far MediaTek is making a good first impression on us in the one location we have tested so far. So. This is kind of what's up with uh, this new mobile hotspot. If you're considering a 5G mobile hotspot on T-Mobile, this is probably the one to start with, but we will be putting this through some further ongoing testing and trying it in different locations, and we'll be sharing our ongoing results in our member area. So if you are one of our mobile internet aficionado members, please join us over in the forums, and we'll let you know any other quirks we discover, any performance differences we see or whatnot. But right now, this is a, seems to be the new choice for a mobile hotspot on T-Mobile. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.